Yo, what's good with my people? Listen, I got a lot I'm doing. Bear with me. Bear with me. Like my man T-Top, the bear. Hey, hey, did y'all see the way in? Did you see the way in, blood? Yeah. Wow, this man ain't even see the way in. Listen, dog. You know what I didn't like about the way in, y'all? I don't like the fact that, like, Loma was smiling. Like, listen, I'm going to explain something to you. You don't be serious the whole time, and then right when you look a man in the eyes, you start smiling. That's not a good sign for me. Listen, granted, Lomachenko still might win, but I just don't like that type of, like, no, at the press conference when y'all was far away and it wasn't even time to fight, you was mugging. But now it's time to fight. Y'all done weighed in and you know it's serious now. Now you're smiling. I just can't ride with that. It just, it just makes me scared a little bit, the edge for Tiafimo. Granted, he still might lose but let me tell you why it's so hard for me to give it to Lomachenko he's really not a good power puncher and he doesn't move his head like everybody think he do I know y'all think he move his head and he be but he don't really move his head he move his feet and Tia Fimo throw punches loops and sharp stuff and I just, it makes me like kind of really think like, dang, but, but we don't cuss. You can't be cussing. But if the thing that still makes me nervous too is even if Loma Chico take him rounds, I still feel like he still got the power to hurt him late because even Loma gets tired because he was tired against Jorge. He just had enough in him. You know what I mean? Pause, pause, pause. So I just want to, it's just tricky, man, because you got a guy who was experienced, but you got to remember Tia Fimo was also an Olympian, I think for Honduras, but he didn't medal, but he was, he was fought international competition. So it's kind of like hard, but this ain't the amateurs, this the pros, and they pay the cost to be the boss. They both got the same number of fights. It's just that, I've been watch I was watching Tia Fimo today, bruh. You talking about quick twitch? That's you know what? I may explain something to you that boxers always say, and sometimes it don't be true. When a boxer say he got a puncher's chance, unless you're a puncher, that's when you have a puncher's chance. That's the only time. If you're not no puncher, you can say, well, he got a puncher's chance. No, he doesn't. He got a 3% knockout ratio. What chance he got? The numbers dictate the chance. That's facts. We all know that. So, it's going to be hard for Loma, bro. And sis, whoever watching this, everybody is welcome on this on here. You already know what it is. You can't see my man. He over, over at Paul's. He over behind the joint. Misogyny with one of those little guns that, you know what I mean? He just was moving too weird over here on the on the couch. I'm like, hey, blood, go off camera, like you. Uh, uh, making all. I'm like, hey, bro, you can't be moving like that on here. Go over there, bro. That it looked crazy. It looked wild mo. How my man from my run in New York used to say. I used to be like, what's wild mo? And then he explained it, cause you know when you hit him with a pause, you get cause it's wild mo. You finish the rest. You know what I mean? I'm not here. It's just entertainment. It's just entertainment. I didn't make the rules. He made them. Like, I literally just want to stomp you out right now. You look crazy, bro. You need to get it together. I can't wait. I'm gonna go to the gym. See, the thing is, I'm not worried about you learning in your skills. 
It's about when you don't know what you think you know. And then it's when it get tweaky. It's when it get tweaky, eh? I'm just saying. that, And I say that to my homie because it can happen like that in a fight. Because Lomachenko and Tiafimo got the same number of fights. They got they IQs is on the same level because to be able to knock somebody out just ain't about power. It's about when to throw the shot, when how to place it, how to set it up. I watched it today on the Richard Comey fight. He went the first round, Comey the taller fighter. He didn't come out sharp enough on the hard stick and make give something to a female to think about, hey, you gonna have to walk through the hard stick. Tia Fimo already had his range and distance down packed. And the co-mate fight the first round, and he the shorter fighter. That's detrimental to the tall fighter. No matter. Think about if you the tall fighter, and you in there with a prime Mike Tyson, and you let the small fighter get up in your face already and got your timing down. That's how you explain it if you want to know. Not comparing Tia Fimo style to. Mike Tyson style, I'm comparing the mental tactics. And you know, on this channel, we don't call it mental because you can't even see a mental. It's actually spiritual. Psyche don't even exist. That's what another demographic made up to explain things that you can't see. Psyche mean of the spirit world, bro, if y'all didn't know that. So look, so that's what the part where it kind of gets tricky because Tiafimo, if he his IQ is high, man. And then I watched it with the Richard Kobe. I'm like, oh man, even though Richard Kobe a hard puncher, that don't matter in Tiafimo's world because he understands timing. Once you understand timing, boxing is mastered. Because speed, slowness, all that, all that stuff that people say athletic, none of that matters. Because to even determine what speed is, you gotta have time. It's the father. Hey, bro, I'm just telling you the things that Allah has told me. I'm giving them to y'all. It's how you break them down. If you wanna break it down, if you don't wanna break it down, I'm sorry. I can't. We in the stew, and once I, I can listen, when I start talking like this, I'm gonna tell y'all, I feel it right here. Cause I say, we know how Kevin Hart say, say it with your chest. He don't even know why you say that. But when you start talking a certain way, you can feel it, I feel it. It's a, like an energy, it's, it, it's, it weigh on you, bro. I'm telling you, it's crazy. With a K, not with a C, never with a C. Gotta do your research, sorry. But yeah, man, so it's like, when Tia Fimo can get your timing down, you going the fight, that's why he keeps saying the fight ain't gonna go four rounds, cause I I think he feel like he gonna be able to get Lomachenko style down because Lomachenko fight the same way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He do this. I told y'all in the past lives, bro. He be doing this. Like, and his daddy said, man, you think you're gonna fight my son like that? Yeah. It's over with. Yeah, he'll get Listen, up. why he Lomachenko gonna fight different? What he gonna do this? Would he go just stop jabbing and figure out how to take him without the jab? He don't even know how to do that because everything he do is based off the jab hand. Whether it's landing or not, he just palm with it, keeping you at fake pressure too. He can't even really do that with Tia Fimo because if he get in range, he gonna get, he gonna get cocaine. Hey, 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 I'm just saying what they put Hey, man, get your damn foot out of the camera, bruh. All niggas see is a bitch. Oh, bruh. Come on, man. You. Hey, dumb, this is like my little bro right here, bro. He dumb diesel, MMA, tie clinches, jujitsu. We do it all, bruh. Kick your head. Listen, one time, he probably don't remember this story. We was training in my other dude's garage at Dave Lama. And he threw a one-two, and then I tried to, I was thinking about slipping boxing, and he threw a leg kick, and at the last minute pulled it, but he kicked me right in the head. And then right then and there, I was like, 
oh, I see why legs kicks knock you out. Because they don't really hurt, but your leg is so heavy, when it whip your head, it's going to give you a concussion. And when he did, I was like, oh, damn. And he, and he was like, I pulled that. You good? You good? I'm like, I'm good. Because I kind of, I went like this. But when he hit me, I felt the heaviness of it. I do, I, I hey, bro. I do remember it one time. Uh, I kicked you in, in, inside leg. Yeah, that, that the I, first I, time you yeah, kicked me. Yeah, I that. yeah, yeah I that, that was the first time you kicked me. Yeah. Then I was like, oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna just learn how to do this first. But the second time was when I was almost about to take a fight, and when we went to the West Side. I remember, I was gonna change that. I remember, I don't remember. I don't remember that happening. I don't remember that. Yeah, you went like this. You was in the right hand position, and you know how you you do if you throw. Yeah, you know, no, if you throw a one, two, then you throw the opposite leg off yeah, the yeah, two. You step and kick, yeah. yeah, you step and kick. So I thought you was going to throw a one, two, three, and then you went, wow. You, you do it in a rhythm of, you was kind of like, wow, yeah. And then when I, you know, I'm left-handed, I kind of went like this, and you threw the back leg kick. Yeah, and then I was, and you pulled it, and I was like, wow. And I was like, oh, shit. And everybody was like, you good? I'm like, no, I'm good. I, but I could tell. How that knock you out? I could tell because the leg is heavy, bro. And if you know how to whip the hip, that's the, and that's what I'm talking about with Tia Fimo. Listen, that's how, that's how we throw, don't that's even. How you, that's how you throw his punch. Like, yeah, like, like it. You know how, you know how you, I can use it. He whipped that hip. He, he, this, he, Pause. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of like when you see that type of. It's kind of like, well, damn, he. Whiplash. Yeah, he can't even get it. If he get in range and not be careful, and he don't move his head like people think he do. If he, if he, if he get a clean shot like Lenardis hit him. Oh, he going to bed and he yeah, ain't going to be able to recover. If he take it, he got a chin, bro. Because he not even a 35-pounder, though. But I feel like they betting on IQ against IQ. That's why they feel like Loma, this is a safe fight for Lomachenko. Because remember, it's a boxing match. They feel like Tia Fimo not just gonna come in and just yap, 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 and he just. Gonna get... rush. Tia Fimo smart, he's not gonna rush. I feel like. I don't think he's gonna rush. Him. I feel like he is. Because he's fast enough to do it, and he feel like I'm a real 35 pounder. He ain't punching like that for real. He not gonna like, listen. Would dude say, if Tank's coach, if you go into the fight with nothing to fear, you're going to win. If you go into the fight like, if I rush him, he gonna pull the moves. Then he gonna pull the move. You speaking it yeah. to an existence. Yeah, that's, that's what this is about. That's facts. So that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. He gotta go. Hey, blood. He can pull the moves. I'ma loop a shot and knock his head off, yeah. like Salido did. He's been beat before. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like it's all about your mental, what you can't see. Yeah, all right. That's why they keep saying, if he keep trying to pull that, all right. But the thing is, if if Lomachenko make to Tiafimo doubt himself, that listen to the words that I'm using. Not his person, his self. The self is what guides you through the spirit. If he doubt his self, that's third person. He will lose. You have to believe in self. That's not your body. This is your person. Your body is person. Your self is a whole nother part of the makeup of the man. Y'all understand what I'm cooking right now? Y'all Yo, know when I put this on, I get the... They call me Hamza, bruh. That every time I say that name to somebody, they be like, hey, bro. Do you know what? Yeah, I know what it means. That means I get the same name like Tut Ankh Amen. That's what it means. It means an Amen. Somebody gave me that name, never seen me before. They blind, bro. They said, is he, is he, is he a Muslim? She said, yeah. What's his name? Troy King. Well, if he Muslim, he should have a Muslim name. His name is Hamza. It also means lying and steadfast and strong. But in Hebrew it mean I and in Hebrew I mean Amen. You gotta study. That's out of the Meru Netter. That's just a small gift 
a little knowledge real quick. It's out of the metal netter, bro. You got to study the metal netter. That means the word of God. You got to study it. Pause. Pause. I'm trying to find that little ball to roll up under here. I don't know where it rolled over there. Then I'm going to squeeze it over. Pause. Again. Hey, listen. This fight is like 55-45 for Tia Fimo. That's, that's a good, that's a good. Yeah, good like, like cause you can't really go all the way on this side side because if you great, this is the time to really show it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, Whoever great and come out of this is him. And they gonna be the WBC champion. As I told y'all, when y'all was talking about Devin Haney was the real WBC, he's not. I'm not out here to hate on Devin Haney. He's not the real WBC champ. He was the champion in recess. The interim. He was just holding it until the real man got to work. Lomachenko, I'm sorry. That's just how it worked. And it don't matter what. Listen, all the bloggers can say what they want. You don't under, you can say, well, that's what black fighters let happen. No. Stop trying to jump your bridges. It's about butts and seats. At the end of the day, it's about green. Money told you that. Money Mayweather, the Mayweather defense. He told you that. You put butts in seats. It paid a cost. Devin Haney is not paying no cost to be nothing yet. How? He didn't win no Olympics. He didn't go to the Olympics. I'm not here to hate on no man. I'm here to speak facts. Because if I don't speak them, I lose what I got. He didn't go to the Olympics. Yes, he was a good amateur, but he didn't go to, to the Olympics. Second, he hasn't fought a meaningful pro. He's fought C-level fighters, man. And then he's fighting Gamboa, who's coming off an Achilles tendon tear. After getting punished for 12 rounds by Tank. What? Vante, what are they talking about, bro? Yeah, the little guy is nice. He's a good fighter. He got talent. Is he ready for the Lomas? No. Come on, man. Give him a chance to grow for you ruining. It's boxing. You could die in there. Come on, man. I have no... Listen, him and Amari, my little homies. You know what I'm saying? I sparred Amari Jones. He's a good little kid. But you got to take your time. And when you understand what I just said, boxing is easy. What did I just say? You have to take your time. Everybody got their own body. Every time you take is yours. It's yours. Once you learn how to take your time and not worry about everybody else, what they doing, you will learn how to beat yourself. And when you learn how to... You yourself will beat your person. And then you will learn what time really is. Because when you know, time don't truly exist. It's a made up thing because it's two different planes. It exists on the objective plane, but not on the subjective. You know, that's bars right there. That's different. And if you know, if, if it's two different planes and on one plane time don't exist, then you got to know how to take your time. And anytime you take it, you can take it and give it. It's your will. You was made in a likeness. I, I'm just saying what the book said. These are not my words. I'm just saying, dog. I'm just saying. Mad. Bro, Ali was telling you. Listen, Ali told you. I'm so fast that last night I turned off the lights. I turned off the light switch in the bedroom with... In, in the, my bedroom and was in the bed before the room was dark. Now listen, I stumbled too many times, so I got to run it back. I'm so fast that last night I turned off the light switch in the bedroom and was in the bed before the room was dark. If you understand real science, only Muhammad Ali would say something like that because the light come out of the dark. You only can have, the light can't come out of nowhere else but the dark. And when you condense light all the way down, it turned into dark. That, those are facts. Just look it up. It's called the 666. Listen, to all my Christians out there, listen. I know 
you think that got something to do with the devil, but it doesn't because it doesn't even say that. It says it's the mark of the beast, which is man. And if you know science, you know six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons is the carbon atom. No, carbon. Melanin don't even really exist. That's trichnology. It's carbon, bro. Carbon is what resonates electricity, not melanin. Carbon, bro. Black, coal, diamonds. You shine a diamond in the, in the UV light, you get the rainbow. Because it come out of black. All colors come out of black. The black woman can make all... As above, so what? Below. All right, there. Them is factual bars... In the kitchen, in the stool. I've been telling you this, but now that I'm in this type of environment, the words I say now are gonna resonate a little bit better because I'm not talking to you on my phone. I'm not on my cell phone in a room. I'm not to know. I created an environment so when you look at this, you gonna know I'm trying to do something serious. I'm not trying to play. This is not for play. We in 21 in, 13 seconds going. You know what I mean? We just, this is going to be light. This is just the Lomachenko and Lopez synopsis on how it's really a close fight, but it's up to Tiafimo. It could be over and he, it could be long. Pause. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, it's just really tricky. It really depends on Lomachenko too because it's balanced. If he come in there not respecting the power of Tiafimo, he'll fall victim to it. We talk about that on my channel. If you don't respect a man's gifts, you will fall victim to his gifts. Because you didn't take the time to find out what the gifts were. That is bars. I'm going to say it again. Like how my clean paper from the battle rap. Because, you know, we do battle rap on here. Hey, bro, what is you doing, bro? Yeah, let's see if somebody knocking on the gate joint. Oh, what's good, my bad. I was just checking. It's just us in here, baby. What's good? Yeah, what's up, baby? That's my, my next door, my next door neighbor, my homie, Nico. But yeah, so, you know, battle rap bars too. Clean paper, say it again. If you don't respect the gifts of the fighter that you supposed to be going up against, you will fall victim to the gifts because you didn't take the time to study the gifts, to know how to take them apart. You have to be humble. It's a gentleman sport. It's just about showing your craft. It's not about just trying to kill and do all that. You can't even speak that into existence. That's why Deontay Wilder had the problem. But I get his, I get his strife and his and the the problems he had because he felt like he wasn't getting respect. But that's the that's why Tyson Fury took the limits that he took to beat Deontay Wilder because God they gonna show you, hey, bro, don't talk about killing no man in the ring. This is a gentleman sport, bro. It's about craftsmanship. Don't get frustrated because people won't give you your respect. Why are you trying to prove anything to a man? What? Do you hear what these do? And that's why you be listening to that trash music. A bunch of people trying to prove stuff to other men. Well, hey, if you do that, that's your God. Period. That's the rules. I'm only trying to prove something. To the, to the highest energy, that's it. I'm not trying to do nothing else with no other, no pause. Real talk, dog. And that's why people be having these problems. They don't understand those type of things. Don't speak those things up, because it's not about that. It's a prize fight. It's not pride fight. It's prize fighting. You get a prize just for showing up and showing your craft. If you're not that good, no mouse is acceptable. Learn from that and come back and try to win. You see what I'm saying? 
to die right there when you can get your now your your mom your mom your wife and your her and and your kids to seeing your a man take your life now he is responsible for your people your kids because he lost in fair combat that's facts is that facts or am i just talking you're not even listening because it's too heavy. You don't get it. You don't get it. That's why you just got to cop your A, blood. You was better today. I need to figure out what you was doing, and we going to run our rematch back. Tell me, I'm going to go out on my shield. Well, hey, bro, then that's your God, then. The man who took you out. Because you could have said, you got me today. Damn. Got to be humble at the same time. Be confident. You was better today. I need to get on my craft more. That's what the problem with boxing. Too much glamorization. Too much Instagramification, dog. Posting sparring when you're not even sparring nobody for real. You know, the real fighter of the, the, of the, of the little cats, I told y'all who it was. Yeah, he don't post nothing. He t too sharp Shakur. I blessed him with that. That nobody, I was the first of that. So when they start calling him Too Sharp Shakur, remember I was the one who started it first. I never heard that. Yeah, I know, because I'm the, it just go. His name is Shakur. Why wouldn't it be Too Sharp Shakur? He's Steve Gift. He got the Floyd type of. Y'all don't hear the Haney's and them calling on him? Yeah. All right then. Yeah. If they really wanted some work with a 126 pounder, they could call out Too Sharp. Shakur. Now you want 39. Yeah, exactly. So we gonna see who really ducking. Uh -huh. We gonna see. We gonna see. Listen, Javante and Shakur are fight. Yeah. They oh, know yeah. what it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. They know what it is. Oh yeah. They know. They down the line. Yeah. They know. Oh, at any time. Listen. Listen, go Shakur do, Shakur do, go but once Tank, inshallah, stop Leo, which is projected that he's going to stop him, but you never know. You got to just keep that, because you got to have that balance, because if you don't, and you that's overconfident, you have to respect a man's craft enough to know if I'm not on it and focus 100%, I can lose. So, I'm saying that to say, if Tang do everything right, it's just stopping. Or beat him brutally till the referee come in. Then he gonna fight Ryan Garcia. He gonna beat Ryan Garcia. Or they might say no. Because, no, they gonna say no. They gonna say no because Oscar De La Hoya said, already said it. My bad, y'all. That was almost that was one of them almost partner interruption mistakes. Oscar De La Hoya was like, you think Ryan ready for uh tank? He was like, oh no, 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 tank's a beast. No, no, no. We're not gonna do that right now. Cause you know why? Oscar done playing. Cause now he can't make the money he used to make. Cause he know who run the table. You know what I mean? So you gotta be honest. You know what I mean? Tank is on a different level with craftsmanship. Why do you think Lomachenko called out Tank after he beat Pedraza, who was an Olympian, who beat other people like Terrence Crawford in the, in the amateurs and stuff like that? He called him out since. He, he, no, but yeah, he been calling out Gervonta. Lomachenko called out Gervonta because he see that Gervonta has a special IQ on top of power and Lomachenko feels that if I beat him, see people don't, well, listen, I'm giving Lomachenko so much credit because he sees something in Tank that other people really don't see and he know if I beat him, he don't even care what other people think because even Floyd and everybody know, hey, if I beat him, I really beat him because he got the it factor and the skill. That's why he called him out. Remember, he didn't call out Tiafimo and these other young fighters Tiafimo been calling out Lomachenko because they know Lomachenko got the juice on a certain level and if you beat him you get a certain type of crown and belt but, Tia, but and, and this is all facts this is not hypothetically but before anybody even knew of a Tiafimo 
right when Javante Tank Davis beat Pedraza, they was on the press conference and they called out Javante Davis. And that's why. Because he better than all these other kids, for real. The only person that need to grow that can match him is Shakur Stevenson. That's why you can't be on camera, bro. You look stupid doing all that moving, bro. It don't even take all that. Bro, drink some water. Get some, hey, bro. I'm, I like to like that. I'm about Don't let it happen again. Hey, so look, man. Drop, we on 30 minutes. We're going to keep it short. Drop what you think in the comments. You already know it's Killertainment. It's Troy Killertainment King, a.k.a. Cuerno de Chivo, a.k.a. Hamza, a.k.a. The Garlic Butter Gangster with Gratitude. Listen, bro, and the Chivo is a goat. So, a ROM, or your third, your son, your solar plexus. That's what your, listen, I'm going to give you all a little knowledge. Your solar plexus is your stomach, right there where the chakra at. The name for that is the R-A-M, Ram, Achivo. And see, I can't make this up. This is why they give me, this is why the, the energy work, it gives you certain names if you learn how to shut up and listen. You got, because listen, when God talking, you can't be thinking about nothing else and talking and trying to... Bro, what? Just think about what I'm saying, y'all. If you really wanted to hear what God had to say, how would you really listen if you your mind thinking about shit of the world? He don't care nothing about that. He made it all. If the, Listen, if you, whether you believe in God or not, just say... The supreme energy known as Allah, the creator of all, God Almighty, whatever you want to call him. Get your hand out of the camera, blood. Man, lay the other way, bro. Hey, bro. You're going to get stopped. I'm going to make sure of it. So you can just chill. I'm going to do you how the Gracies do you when you learn from them. They roll with everybody, stop everybody up first, tap you out. So now it's time to teach. Listen, you know you're not on my level now. Now I have your absolute attention. Because you know what it is. I tapped you 30 times. Out of Say you, I, you tap me once, I tap you eight. That's one out of eight. That's an eighth. That's 3.5. You add three and five together, what you get? You get eight. You only, an eighth, that's nothing out of a pound. That's nothing. I smoke an eighth in three minutes. Or five minutes. Because that make eight. So that's how they do it. So I'm saying that to say, even with thinking about Tank Davis, Lopez, all the little fighters, Lomachenko got the belts. You know what I mean? You just can't put anybody in there with him unless they got the stereotypical Mexican style because Salido has beat him. So that style beats Lomachenko no matter what you say, how you say it. We here to keep it 100. And since that's happened, the good brothers like Frank Stay, Brian Goodman, I think, or Brad Goodman, if that's his name, I'm, I'm almost there if but y'all know who I'm talking about. They the best matchmakers. You got to remember, they move the De La Hoyas and the Floyds, and they start people out. They are magicians. Magic, as they say it in Sudanese. It's magic. Magic, actually. Bro, they, they know how to keep you away from what gives you problems. You know how I know that? Because nobody that Lomachenko actually fought after Salido fight like Salido, and when... It was a time for him to fight him at 130. He went up to 135 because Burchell fights like a stereotypical Mexican and he got a lot of knockouts. Those are facts. Why hasn't he fought Burchell at 130? Because he can make 130 easy? Because he not good with them stereotypical Mexican style. Ain't loops beat angles. It's mathematics. It's algebra. It's algebra. It's not arithmetic. It's algebra because algebra is 
geometry and arithmetic put together. That's facts, because mathematics is only arithmetic, algebra, and geometry. It ain't all this other stuff. That's mathematics. That was made by these people who made these symbols. They created the decimal system. How do you think you get a cubit? And, he, and listen, the circumference of the Giza pyramid is 365.25 cubits. Where have you heard that? That's the year. It's 365 days in a year. A lunar year is 364. A solar year is 365.25 cubits. Egyptians started that. That's why in the Bible they talk about cubits. Because you're you going to only talk about well, who taught you. They created the decimal system. A cubit was measured from, you know what? I'm, I'm, I don't want to say that because then I'm going to seem like I'm stunting on my people. You got to study it. I got to leave you something to study. You got to study what a cubit is. Because if you know in the Bible, if you read for all my Hebrews and all my Christians who read the Bible, if you know what a cubit is, and you do the cubit measurements of how they say what Noah's Ark is, you would know that you could never fit two animals of each kind in the Ark, bruh. It wouldn't be big enough. And no matter what you say, they said they fit every animal of every kind in Noah's Ark. Hey, bruh, I'm just telling you. You would know if you measured out the cubits did that. It's not impossible. So, hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Animals sleep, some animals is nocturnal, some animals sleep according to the sun, bro. How's you? Oh, they was all asleep. Hey, bro, you don't understand what you read. I'm just sorry. I don't mean to say it like that. Remember, this is allegory, parables, fables, mythological stories. Myth means it's about what you can't see. Spirit, psyche, you have to know how to break it down. So you can understand it. And then you can bring it to the physical. That's it for today, y'all. Let me know who you think you got. Whether you got T.O. or Loma. Explain why, technically. So you can have a voice on this platform. Y'all already know. Don't hate. Show love. Comment. And you know, last but not least, man, pick up a plant and eat it, bruh. Vegan is the way to go. You know you can't win with me because I know the science all the way down to the understanding and the overstanding. Because once you do it like that, you on the balance of the horizon. One yourself. Y'all don't even know what that means for real. I'm just, I'm just... That was a stunt move, bars.